what I want to do is to take and we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to aim that towards the healing of your body rather than just salivating with your salivary glands, rather than just having your adrenal glands pump out a little more adrenaline or anything like that. We want to go into a different place. So once again, allow your body to be in a very comfortable position and become aware of the fact that there's no other place that you need to go. There's nothing else that you need to do. There's no problem that you have to solve. And therefore you can give yourself permission to relax, to simply be present and relaxed. Feel the surface beneath you. Feel your breathing. Let your eyelids close. Let your eyes gently roll upward behind your closed eyelids until you're looking upward toward the back of your forehead. And imagine that there on the back of your forehead, you can see the word relax, or you can see something beautiful that symbolizes relaxation for you. Good. Relaxed. Let the muscles of your eyelids relax all the way down to the point they just don't want to open at all. And when your eyelids feel that relaxed, almost as though they're stuck closed, gently test your eyelids, feel how relaxed they are. And as you test them, let that relaxation from your eyelids flow throughout all the rest of your body. Your eyelid muscles are the smallest muscles that you can control voluntarily. Each time you test your eyelids, imagine you're sending ripples of relaxation flowing from your eyelids throughout the rest of your body, like ripples flowing outward from a stone that's been thrown into the quiet surface of a still pond. Ripples of relaxation through your forehead and your scalp, through all the muscles of your face, letting go. As the muscles around your mouth and your jaw muscles relax, you may notice your upper and lower teeth gently drifting apart. Let the relaxation flow down through your neck and your shoulders, down through your arms and your wrists and your hands. And as the relaxation reaches your fingertips, you may feel a kind of a tingling or a warmth or a heaviness or a pulsation. Notice what you feel. And then take a deep breath in and draw the relaxation from your fingertips up into the center of your chest. Let that breath out and sink into the little pause after you breathe out and before the next breath comes in. Feel how the air breathes you. And with each breath out, think to yourself the words, it breathes me. It breathes me. Feel your chest growing more and more relaxed with each breath out. The rising and falling of your abdomen, relaxing your internal organs, lower back relaxing, feeling all the pelvic organs relaxing, releasing, relaxation flowing through your thighs and your knees, your legs and your ankles and your feet, right down to the tips of your toes. Imagine you can become more and more relaxed with each breath. And if you've decided to allow yourself to relax deeply, you can allow any experience that you have to take you into a deeper state of relaxation. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes and close them again, and you'll notice that if you're willing, as your eyelids open and close, the relaxation you'll have will double over what you have now. Open your eyes and close them. And let your relaxation double. 
And when you can feel your eyelids twice as relaxed, gently test them. And as you test them, let that doubled relaxation flow throughout all the rest of your body. Imagine it flowing through every cell of your body like a warm, soothing liquid, right down, right out through the palms of your hands, right out through the soles of your feet. As if time is simply a beautiful river of peace and energy flowing through you as you rest. And any time any unnecessary thoughts come along, Imagine those unnecessary thoughts are like words on a blackboard in your mind's eye. Remember your eyelid relaxation and as you test your eyelids, imagine you're drawing a wet eraser across your mental blackboard and sending another wave of relaxation throughout your body, allowing you to be here at peace, calm. Good. And while you're still completely calm, simply allow yourself to be aware of any aspect of your body that you would like to be healed. Any part of you that you would like to be more healthy. You don't have to do anything about it, just be aware. Erase any unnecessary thoughts. Be aware of what you're feeling in your body and see if there's feelings in your body that indicate that there may be an imbalance somewhere in your body. Just be aware that you would like for it to change. And looking from the inside, what does it look like to you? If it's a sore muscle, does it look red? Does it look like a knot? in a rope. What you see can be completely symbolic. If it's infection, can you see a lot of little bad guys in there creating a problem? However you see it, what's it look like to you? Don't judge, don't criticize. Just simply see what's there. Trust yourself. Good. Take a deep breath in as you let it out. Just let that go for a moment. I want to ask you to take that little journey back into the past again. Hop aboard your magic carpet. I want you to go to a time in your life when you felt really good. Maybe it was the place you went to before. Maybe it's just a time when you're feeling really healthy, when you're feeling on top of the world. You could be dancing, you could be hiking, could be swimming, could be relaxing in a garden, could be gardening, could be flying a kite, could be being with someone you love. Again, I want a time I want you to go to a time where you felt good, really good about being yourself. When you felt healthy, when you felt inspired, maybe a time when you were in touch with your own spirit, or maybe even a greater spirit that's around you. Who are you? What's your, what's your deepest sense of yourself? 
at this place. There are those times in life when we have the opportunity to really see who we are. Be aware that this is who you still are at your essence. And that within you is the capacity to heal, is the capacity to rebalance systems within your body. You can rebalance your emotions. You can rebalance your thinking. And you can change your behaviors. What does your inner healer look like? Some people have a spiritual image of that which heals. Some people see that healer as being a kind of universal energy. Some people have a spirit guide or a spirit animal. Some people can even imagine a whole team of little doctors and nurses inside. Kind of imagine what your healer might look like. And now imagine that you can let your healer begin to work that healing magic in that place in your body where it's needed. Take your healer, take that healing energy within you to that part of your body. If you don't have a healer, what you can do is, or one that you're aware of yet, just let yourself sink deeply into that pause after you breathe out and before you breathe in. And then feel that little spark of energy that starts each new breath in. Notice no matter how much you relax, there's something inside you that wants to take another breath. Feel it. Think of that little spark of energy as being the spark of life. Think of that as being healing energy. And imagine that as that spark comes, it brings healing energy into your body. And imagine that you can channel that healing energy right to that part of your body that you want to be well. And simply visualize that part of your body becoming well, right now. Imagine all toxins leaving. Imagine all tension leaving. And imagine that this process will continue within you, even as you focus your mind elsewhere. Get aboard your magic carpet and go forward into the future. I want you to imagine yourself in the future at some point where you have healed that part of you, whatever healing means to you. Picture yourself doing something you really enjoy doing, a part of you that, doing something that really uses that part of your body that is now healed. Visualize yourself as completely well, as if you're looking at a movie of the future, and then step into that movie and become that person. And imagine right now that you're completely healthy, well, strong. Imagine your face is relaxed and you have a pleasant smile, a look of wisdom in your eyes. You feel a deep inner sense of peace and yet you feel great energy within. You are deeply in touch with your spirit, with your essence. 
Imagine that you are doing what you came to life to do and having a great time doing it. Feel it. And the more powerfully you can feel it emotionally, the better. Your emotions are a key part of your healing. Good. Each time you picture yourself the way you really want to be, you become more and more this person because this is the person you already are down deep inside. As you learn to clear your mind, you become better and better at it. As you learn to cause your mind to hold certain images, and as you learn to induce the unconscious mind to participate in the way you want it to, you gradually gain more and more power in your own life. Because the future is not somewhere you're going to. The future is a place that you are creating. You create it with each thought, with each word, with each image that you allow into your mind. If you wish, you can choose to take charge. Now, gradually bring yourself back to the space around you here. And imagine that as you come back, you feel deeply rested, very comfortable, more in touch with yourself. And may notice that already the healing seems to be underway in your body. Some situations may already have cleared up for you and now the symptoms are gone. It's important to still practice this so that you can eliminate the signs. For some, you've just initiated the process and each time you visualize it in this way, you strengthen those suggestions that you've given yourself. You strengthen the connections between the different levels of your mind and your body. And to really get good at this, again, it reminds me of a story. And the story is a fellow in New York City who's driving through New York City and he's trying to get to a concert at Carnegie Hall. So he's driving, it's a lot of traffic and he's kind of lost and the time's running out and he's got about 10 minutes left to go before the show starts and he pulls up and there's a taxi driver, a New York taxi driver next to him. He rolls down his window and he says, hey buddy, can you tell me how to get to Carnegie Hall? The taxi driver looks out the window and says, practice, practice. Practice. Mm -hmm. And that's what's important. If you want it to happen, it's very important to practice. Again, the things that we're doing today are things that most of us have been trained for most of our lives to not do. To be in touch with ourselves in this way, to begin to imagine that we have this kind of potential. What I can tell you is after 40 years of practicing, and this is what I do with people hour by hour, every day of the week, and I've done it for 40 years. It works incredibly well. Usually, people have to be really sick before they actually show up to do something about it. That they're highly motivated, and therefore we have lots of opportunity for it to work. In order for it to work for you, if you don't have a serious problem, then it takes looking up here and saying, okay, by first beginning to have mm, say so over my body, I'm learning more about my mind. I can gradually learn to take charge of other things in my life. So practicing with your body is really important. To find out more about Dr. Miller, his recent articles, podcasts, videos, his Healing Times radio show and free e-newsletter, or to find out more about his self-healing and peak performance CDs, DVDs, and books, visit drmiller.com. That's drmiller.com.